this is the last video for module number three in this video we will be discussing all the management tools as your provides okay so basically we discussed what are the resources what are the different tools but as a developer it should also provide us tools that we are able to you know manage them like how exactly will i you know create them or delete them so basically we'll start this discussion by taking the topic as your mobile application so we all have mobile phones we like to manage our youtube channel our instagram account our facebook account okay so whatever we update we are also able to see similar things on the website for example if you are posting a status or uploading a image or video using your mobile phone on facebook whenever you open the website you are also able to see those changes right so similarly as you came up with something called as azure mobile application for users to you know manage their azure account from just their mobile devices so they can check logistics they can check analytics like which virtual machine or which application is getting what amount of traffic or if you want to stop a particular virtual machine or if you want to see what are the test results of an application that you just you know uploaded for testing purposes or for example if you want to see how amount of storage you are left with or you can run commands also using the azure mobile application and it is basically an azure management tool so azure mobile application is Uh, application for Apple phones, the iOS and Android phones. Then we have something known as Azure Portal. If you do not want to use Azure using your mobile phone, if you want to just you know go to the Azure website, there is a thing called as Azure Portal. You can create an Azure support request from here. Okay, like you can go to Azure a uh, resource management and from via azure portal and you can select which resources you want to create deploy or get any information about it is basically a web based application that you can use from any browser running on any device using uh, you can use azure portal from uh, any browser like safari chrome mozilla uh, from your macbook or maybe your laptop or maybe even your mobile phone so you can you know use as your portal to do small small task like applying a tag on a particular resource applying a lock on any file that you maybe have on your as your file system or you know you can apply an access control to a basic resource like only developers are able to access this similarly you can remove tags you can remove locks and you can you know change the access control policies if you need to do huge and repeatable task we move to powershell or cli For example if you just want to you know see the dashboard or maybe see some visualization or just want to see what is exactly going on on your cloud then you have two good options one one is azure mobile application the second one is azure portal azure portal is also used for navigation through whole azure services that azure provides but for example what if you want to create 100 virtual machines at a time what if you know if you want to uh, upload a huge amount of data what if if you want to write a whole script of uh, maybe uh, deploying 100 dev test labs or deploying maybe 100 virtual machines at a time or what you cannot go to as your portal or as your mobile application and just open the whole browser thing and go to the website then log in then you know create one virtual machine one by one one by one this is not good for enterprises so for such scenarios as your came up with two things the one is as your cli and the second one is as your powershell we will be discussing each one in detail So basically, as your PowerShell is a management tools that is used to resource uh, management of resources. Again, it is cross-platform. You can use the PowerShell from Windows, Linux, or Mac OS. Okay, so basically, uh, as your PowerShell follows commands that are similar to Windows PowerShell. Okay, so if you are a developer who has used CMD tools more on Windows, then you will be more comfortable using as your PowerShell. powershell has its own syntax and scripts then for linux developers for the people who have worked more on linux side as you came up with something known as as your cli it is again something that is cross platform and works with uh, multiple you know uh, commands in python and ruby and etc depending upon your 
compatibility or you're comfortable with the tools you can choose between powershell or cli but if you're just a person who is on operation sides who want to know what exactly is going on the cloud you can use you can use as your mobile app or as your power portal but if you want to do huge tasks on your cloud then as your powershell and as your cli are the management tools for you then we have something known as as your cloud shell when it comes to as your powershell and as your cli we have to download the application and set up it on our local device okay so because of this as your powershell and as your cli are machine dependent like you can run them on the machine you have set up of the same so as you come up with a solution known as as your cloud shell okay for ex uh, as your cloud shell is a management tool that can run scripts that can do huge create delete and management of all the as your resources using the cloud platform like and you can open as your cloud you can decide that if you want to run a cli or powershell command on the cloud and depending upon the same you can do it now where to find as your cloud shell you can find as your cloud shell on as your portal it is basically using virtual as your cli or virtual as your powershell on your as your portal okay so if you do not want to have a setup if you do not have to download or configure powershell or cli you can use as your cloud shell also adding to it uh, since as your cloud shell is a virtual cli or powershell you can use it on any device again you just have to log into the browser you have to go to as your portal and in the following ways you can use as your cloud shell then we have something known as as your advisor okay so depending upon your use as your advisor gives away free tips that can save you money how amazing is that you are using the resources from azure and azure advisor is giving you free tips how you can save money it also gives you tips how you can increase security when it comes to security it tells you where you can have a network interface or what kind of firewall protocols you should follow so it gives basically operational excellence like how you can increase your you know cloud services depending upon money and security aspects okay now if we compare as your monitor as your monitor gives you alerts when you give exam please remember this fourth point i might have got confused that as your monitor is the answer or as your advisor is the answer as your monitor gives alerts on outages but as your advisor is more inclined towards saving money and making most of the cloud so when it, when it comes to monetizing not monetizing monitoring okay to get to know what exactly is going wrong in your azure then as your monitor is your answer but when it comes to optimization or operational excellence then as your advisor is your answer example it provides you a list of ip addresses that are not in use when we you know work on cloud there are many things we miss okay so as your advisor will provide you information on how to reduce cost on running virtual machine a very famous easy 900 question is that you will be giving you will be given multiple option and you have to select which of will will save you money always look for ip address when you delete an ip address you deallocate a resource whenever you deallocate a resource as your will stop taking money for you for the same since as your is pay as you go model it only charges for the resources that you use for the specific period of time okay so as your advisor gives you a personalized recommendation or suggestion that can save you money and increase security then we have something known as as your monitor as your monitor monitors your cloud on behalf of you okay it helps you to detect the root cause of problem for example you are having a error or maybe an outage so it monitors the health of the resources it gives you application insights like for example you have hosted a web application it will give you alerts okay this web, web application was down for this period of time 
and maybe this is the reason okay it is a platform that powers application insights monitors for virtual machine containers and kubernetes even if you do not want want to you know find the root cause of problem it will also give you application insights okay so as your monitor is basically monitoring all your as your resources what how healthy are them for what time they are up for what time they were down or am i getting a sh- uh, a bandwidth shortage do i have to increase security are my uh, all the web pages or the functionalities of a web application or mobile application working so basically as your monitor is a platform for collecting analyzing visualing and potentially taking action based on metric and logging data from your entire azure and on premises environment so basically it looks after you okay when you are it it gives you more insights like what exactly is going through as a developer we cannot have an eye on all the resources and all the time so basically as your monitors does this for you then we have something called as as your service health okay so as your service health is totally concerned with health of your service that are deployed is everything working fine okay if if anything goes wrong it immediately gives alerts to the developers or the people or the users that are responsible or having access control on the same like this virtual machine went down over here on this region we have maybe an outage so as your service health alerts the developer as soon as it senses that something is going wrong okay and more than that it also gives incident history this helps you to do root cause analysis before ending this module i want to talk more about as your service health as your service health also tells you about what exactly is going on on the side of azure like for example if there is a flood or maybe a data center went down then it will give you a insight that during this period of time this data center or this availability zone was down and now we have solved the root cause of the problem so as your service health is basically the whole aspect area related to the side of azure so these were all the management tools that we had a discussion about this was end of module number 3